everyone how is it going so in this video i want to teach you how to use nokogiri to parse the html document so nokogiri is basically a gem that is written in ruby so basically you can use nokogiri to parse the html document and get the desired element out of it so i have written little article about nokogiri so i want to just go through this so that you guys will have an good understand of what it is about so there are many websites where you can where you want to face the data some website gives the ability of getting the data by using the api but some every website don't have api you know so we need to use for those website who don't have an api we need to use nokogiri to parse the html document and the git desired document out of it so basically if you have ruby on rails installed in your computer you must already have installed nokogiri gym because it is like the dependency for ruby on rails so you don't have to worry about installing it if you guys find it somewhat difficulty in installing the nokogiri gym you can always check this website i will put the link to the in the description below so you can just read through this and maybe you need to just install some dependency or something like that just go through this and install this theme so after you successfully install this theme like you can you know when you after learning this tutorial you can have many abilities like you can collect the pricing from the websites and like collect the web data and like you can also collect the source links from the source engines and many more like this is a parsing and this kind of ability is like one of the very most important skill every developer should have nowadays so parsing can be done in various ways you need to learn css selectors for basic parsing here i have uh, like this mm, i want to give you guys an example so i am here in this stack over the home page there are many questions here i want to extract each questions from here i want to extract these questions from here so i want to see the dom element you know dom structures for this question so let me just inspect the element so you can see here this question is under the summary deep tag here and the class is summary and it is under the s3 tag and under s3 tag there is the anchor tag and inside the anchor tag there leaves this question okay so we got the structure here you get that okay so you can see like selectors here deep class deep id no deep tag with the class summary and inside this we have s3 tag and inside this we have the anchor tag so okay. this is selector are like basic things only they are not much powerful you cannot extract all the required informations from by only using css selector so we have another option which is xpath expression so this xpath expression is very powerful than css selector and it is also very easy to use so we have like this is an structure of the xpath selectors xpath expression sorry so this expression starts with two slashes you can also use one slash but one slash means you begin from the starting of the document but two slash means you can just get to any point of the document okay so here we have the deep tag means we want the deep tag with class here we need to put add sign here and class here we have the summary we have summary class here you can see this we have summary class and after this we have s3 tag and here we have a anchor tag so let's break this this is the same thing that i explained earlier so if you use the single slash here you can just put here html then body deep and you need to just move down what's the dom element okay so we have i want to show now the demo here the demo i have created already created a file 
to parse the stack overflow questions let me go through the line by line for this code example so first here i have required the no cookie regime and then in the second line i have required this open uri gym this gym basically leads you to pass the html document without being downloaded so here you can see we have created the html data variable and this basically open opens and this opens this link and read the html document after this we have use this as the st we, we are going to parse the html document if you were parsing the xml document you need to put xml here so we have seen the parameters as this html data variable here so after that we have the we have the xpath very xpath expression here to parse the document we have used same one that i described earlier div class summary s3 and anchor tag so i have defined an array here to put all the questions for after parsing the stack overflow questions so we want to loop through all of the questions till the till the document till the final question of the document so we can see tag cloud elements dot each do tag cloud elements so let me just change this as my elements dot to each my element my element okay so i have created an array variable here so this expression basically appends my element dot text means we have each question here okay it, it is looping through the each question and it is appending in the array so now we have array here we have array and we want we want the array full of these questions and we are going to print that array so i want to run this program and see what it looks like in the final Okay, you can see here all the questions that are coming from the stack overflow so here I have put in the array so this must be the first question Jack client connecting to itself so let's see here if it is doing the right thing I want to reload this page see here Jack client connecting to itself so you can see it like this way you can parse the HTML document cannot find declaration file and let's see and let's see the final what is the question changing matplotlib and so on so you can see this must have successfully just parsed this piece you can see changing matplotlib and so on so by this way you can parse the html document if this video has helped you please don't forget to subscribe guys and and support my channel thank you